Welcome to the House of Kittens, everyone. This is Fukat, and today we are playing Resident Evil 7. So this is my first time doing a series over the Resident Evil franchise, so... I'm obviously not gonna know too much about Resident Evil 7, or like any other previous Resident Evil game, so... If I point out something that I think is really confusing to me, I apologize, because I obviously have no knowledge of it, I'm very ignorant about my playthrough of this, so... Hopefully you guys will stay tuned throughout the series. Alright, so there is an easy and normal difficulty. Guess we'll just go ahead and start with the normal difficulty. What is going on here? Why is she so bloody? Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Dead, she's alive. She, she's back. How? What happened? I don't know. I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know. What if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Oh my gosh, this reminds me a lot like Outlast. Just the way like this starts right here. And I have to, do I have to control the car? Or does he actually go? Yeah, I'm getting... Alright, let me read the achievement, she's alive. Yeah, just like the start right here, it like reminds me of like Outlast. Based on like going through a car, going to the asylum. This one seems to be just going to the tropical rainforest or whatever. The baker's house, right? Oh, let's try to open that. Of course it's locked. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like an Outlast feel from this. Like, we're gonna have to like go under something. It's just like we're minusing like having the camcorder with us. Alright, let's go ahead and check this. Alright, Sewer Gators, episode 17, uh, project proposal, sneak into the Louisiana ghost house and join us. I'll certainly do that. I want to be part of the Baker family. Accept her gift. I mean, Valentine's Day is like right around the corner, so obviously I'm gonna accept her gift. Alright, let's run over there. I think that's the dude that said, Welcome to the family, son. Yeah, so basically, it's starting just like Outlast. Except, you're still outside, and like, they're doing the whole walking animation. They're already getting to that point in the game. Alright, so there's some crows eating what looks to be a deer corpse. Can't tell if that's a deer corpse or that's just like someone's really fat thigh. We're going under something. Going down this, so no turning back now, right? There's a purse over here. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and examine it. How do you examine it? Oh. Driver's license. A printout of the email from your wife, Mia, who had been missing for three years. And what about this driver's license? Mia's driver's license is covered in a strange black substance. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm starting to getting like a like a racist vibe right here. Could be Slenderman's come. Okay. And this is the hallway from the demo, right? Before we go in, let's go ahead and look for like a flashlight because it is extremely dark in that house. Could we not look deeper into the purse for a flashlight? Yeah, let's go in, I guess. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. He just turns it on instantly. Oh yeah, this is definitely the house from... Can we see? Yep. This is from the demo. Okay, so this photo right here reminds me a lot like Spit on Your Grave from like 1986. That's a movie. It involved a lot of rape. So I'm sort of getting that 80s vibe right now. Don't know what this photo would be referring to. You can see what probably is May's legs. Yeah, something moved in the background, but I don't care about that. Maybe that guy that's like standing like right next to the photo is probably Michael Myers. Don't want to listen to my piano skills? I mean, I'm aging. Oh, you can just save right here. All right, and we got the tape right here. Don't know if it's like gonna be like the same tape that we saw in the demo. Yeah, this is the same from the tape. My shadow looks like a gatherer from Amnesia. You guys have already heard this from the demo playthrough, so I don't know if I should really show this again. Why do you look like Charlie Day? Andre. Yeah, I don't have time to wait for him. I'm just gonna go ahead and see the death scene. What do you see? What is it? There he is. All right, that's done now. Now we can go ahead and proceed to the actual game. Jesus. Go ahead and open that. Because I pretty much have no fear of this guy named Lucas Baker. And it looks like the path continues on too. So yeah, this is gonna be the new part of the game. Oh yeah, here we go. It's Walker from Outlast gonna chase after us. And he likes chasing after us underwater. Alright, we got some bubbly stuff going on under here. <laughs> Dang, isn't he looking cute right now? <laughs> Alright. So now, let's go ahead and get back up. Alright, so I guess this is the prison cell that they took a photo of before. There's a toilet with a lot of syringes in it. Yeah, maybe that's her? I don't know. We need a key or something. Oh, boat cutters. No, that would work. That would definitely work. And then I get prepared for the biggest jump scare yet. No, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Who else is here? Dude, it's those camera angles, though. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now. Okay. Where are you taking me? Well, can you just go? Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Wow, you are taking your sweet precious time. You know, I like this feature. Not now. We need to get out of here first. You know, I'm down here. We have to talk. That message you sent me. You happened by the person? That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Alright. I mean, I could just run straight through this. I mean, we're really gonna, like, walk this slow. So basically, you're just leading us to our deaths. There. It's there. The exit? No, I doubt it. This is where they give you food at? 
A O O one. Oh, there's a doll right here. Let me go ahead and get that. That's a doll of her. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and go save her now. Wow, it's raining out right now. And it's dark. How long was that tape that I was watching? We'll just go ahead and uh, see the spoopiness here. I guess this is when I take drugs. Guess house map. I don't know, I guess we go back. Like, there's no point in being up there anymore. Oh. She's become the grudge now. Oh yeah, she's become the grudge. Strong woman. I'll resist. Oh, was I supposed to hold it? I don't know. I'm confused here. What am I doing here? A human being. Duh. Alright, so now that's done. Do we just pick her up or whatever? Or just leave her? Oh, thank you. At least we have some doors open. Alright, chill out. Just let me move for a second. Oh, are we fighting now? Chill out, huh? You know, there's still the good woman inside her, and we're actually attacking her like this. Okay, now that's done. Uh, I'm not gonna answer the phone yet. We gotta get whatever's in here. Well, that room didn't have anything, so. Yeah, I wish you did that to the other door. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? Now, what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Okay, gotcha. Sounds like this door opened. And it has. And this leads me back to... Oh, it does! We basically just went through like a huge circle. Oh, I have boat cutters. That's right. There's a fuse. Oh, did someone just walk by? And we put it in. All right, now we can go up to the attic. Well, it's shorter. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. You shouldn't have done that! Hey, you're not been drowned now. Fucking harsh! Now, let's see how you feel. Um... Dude, I'm just getting screwed over. So now that's been done. Time to go to the attic. Now she's a funny person. 
Go through here, get the phone call, I guess. Oh, the gun. Oh, maybe this is the way out, okay. And then I'm, like, gonna get pushed back because, you know, it's not that easy, right? Why won't you go down? Getting shot in the head so many times. Chill out, let me get that. Okay. You are responsible. Ugh. <laughs> Absolutely annoying. You love me. I don't love you after that. I thought you were cool and funny and then you did that to me. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. I love that quote so much. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Welcome to the family, son. And you think I'm gonna end part one of Resident Evil 7 there? Or we're gonna watch this cutscene and see where he takes us. Yeah, maybe later. Oh, I got my arm back. Or a mechanical arm. Where's Mia? Good. Edith, it's good. Don't so bitch was no good if it hit him. Look at this. Get wrecked. Your boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Go chill out. I just wanted supper, and then this is what you do to me? This reminds me a lot like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre family. I forgot their names. The Sawyer family, I think that's what their names were. Yeah, they had like the same feast and the same type of violence and this old lady being the reference to the old man. Oh, he left. I didn't even notice that. I thought he was behind me. We'll do the rest in the next playthrough. Or we have to go save again. Is there a place we can save at? Like, what are they going to need a water boiler for? Is that like Oregon ramen noodles or something? I'm just looking for a place to save right now. I'm not trying to, like, finish the game. Three missing during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men who went missing during the travels of Dolphy Parish from New Orleans on the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andre Stickland, and Clancy Javis. The three produced videos for the internet and traveled to Dolphy to shoot footage to their latest production. Their videos consist mostly of the group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. 
He sounds a lot like a guy that I know from Walmart. Like, he doesn't, like, go around looking at haunted houses, but he does go to, like, creepy warehouses. More to the house over here. Oh. So he wasn't... No. I, I was just looking for a place to save. I mean, I'll meet up with you guys again later. I thought that was just a typical jump scare or something. <laughs> what the heck? How'd I lose him? Is that guy really that stupid? I see you. Aw, oh, what a nice guy. He actually gave me, like, first aid. Yeah, I'm actually a lot better. Thank you. What the fuck? No, he's a nice man for asking that. Am I supposed to interact with that? Because this is not helping. Okay, jump down now. Jeez. I like how he's just giving me time. You know, he's actually like the nicest enemy that I had to deal with in any horror game that I've played so far. You know, people like Eddie Gluskin, like, he just like, pretty much chases after you the entire time. Doesn't even give you a chance. Yeah, go ahead and just overwrite that. And that's where I'm gonna end the gameplay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Resident Evil 7. I'm pretty much enjoying it so far. Like, I was expecting this to be so much like Outlast, like where, you know, they run into a door, bang it, and then go through and you can't get there in time. Like, this game does the exact opposite. You go there, they're actually gonna try to kill you. <laughs> yeah, this is very unpredictable, so I don't know what to expect out of this game. I might actually get a scare out of this, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. Hey, I'm so happy we finally get to talk like this. So, um, dude, your camera doesn't seem to be working. Well, that's because I'm not using a webcam now. Um...